The cave systems of Earth are nothing to scoff at. Some caves are so dangerous that they've been sealed off, while others are safe enough for even the general public to go on guided tours. But it's only thanks to brave spelunkers that we've found giant crystals, glowing worms, and real-life baby dragons in these magnificent caverns. And these discoveries were only just the beginning. Join us for the 20 most shocking things ever found in caves. Number 20. The Cave Castle A castle is probably the last thing you'd expect to find in a cave, but that's exactly what Prajama Castle is. This castle is located within a cave complex at the end of a valley in southwest Slovenia, perched on a 400-foot vertical cliff. Its history dates back to the 13th century, and it proudly holds the title of the world's largest cave castle as recognized by Guinness World Records. Its Renaissance facade, dating to the 1580s, adds an air of grandeur to this already impressive structure. However, even seemingly mundane features like the castle's outhouse toilet possess fascinating stories. The castle's history is intertwined with Erasmus von Lug, a local figure similar to Robin Hood, who fled here in the mid-1480s after a disputed duel resulted in the death of Count Pappenheim. A siege on Prajama Castle ensued, but Erasmus stood his ground. Ingeniously utilizing secret tunnels to sustain himself, even taunting his enemies by sending them cherries from the distant Vapava Valley delivered via underground passages. Eventually, betrayed by a servant, he met a memorable end, struck by a cannonball while using the outhouse. But this next cave also has a history behind it. Number 19. Cornwall's Holy Well The charming village of Holywell draws visitors as a resort destination and is also famed for sheltering the renowned Holy Well Cave. The village takes its name from this well which unveils its secrets only during low tide. There's a cave at the northern edge of the beach which leads to a freshwater spring. As the tale goes, early Christian monks once performed baptisms for local children there. The rocky formations leading up to the pool look just like a staircase. But there's also another version of this story. This narrative traces the well's origins to times preceding Christianity, revered for its healing properties. Parents would bring sick children to submerge them in the chilly waters of the upper pool. Christian symbols or signs near the well are indeed absent, so this may be a valid story. The well itself is a little hidden. You'll have to walk along the shore for about 10 to 15 minutes until you encounter the hidden holy well, not marked by signs. It remains discreet. The cave occupies the extremity of the beach where the cliffs almost touch the shore. The cave's entrance is marked by vibrant mineral deposits, making them beautiful but also slippery at the same time. While the waters here are clear, what if they were a bit more colorful? Number 18. Ruby Falls, Tennessee. In the depths of Lookout Mountain Caverns in Chattanooga, Tennessee, the Ruby Falls unveils a mesmerizing secret that nature has been crafting for centuries. Standing as America's tallest subterranean waterfall, it plummets an impressive 145 feet down a colossal vertical shaft. These caverns have more history than just their geological formations, used as shelters during the Civil War and beyond. The caves were later sealed due to railway construction. Thanks to the efforts of an amateur spelunker named Leo Lambert, the caverns were unearthed again through a mountainside tunnel. Lambert affectionately named them. Falls after his wife Ruby, showcasing his discovery to the neighboring towns. Today, Ruby Falls is filled with electronic lights that light up a symphony of multicolored splendor to captivate its visitors. These lookout mountain caves, like many, boast a remarkable collection of stalactites and stalagmites in various forms. The sight of the descending falls is truly breathtaking. The falling water is illuminated by rays of multicolor light that make it look like something straight out of a fairy tale or maybe a nightclub. And that's exactly what this next cave was used for. Number 17. The Lost River Cave. In the heart of Bowling Green, Kentucky, lies a hidden gem, the Lost River Cave. Surrounded by over 60 acres of wooded trails, this natural wonder conceals a river that gracefully flows beneath the Earth's surface. While now a renowned tourist attraction, Lost River Cave boasts a rich and diverse history, having served as everything from a nightclub to a sawmill, a civil war camp to a refuse dump. The intriguing limestone walls that encase the flowing waters of the cave extend for around seven miles beneath Bowling Green. Today, Visitors can explore its depths through guided tours, boat rides, and kayaking adventures. But it wasn't always a tourist haven. This cave was first used by the Aboriginal Americans. They used it as shelter and a source of water. However, it was the establishment of the first sawmill that marked a significant turning point. The use of water not only powered the mill, but also whisked. 
away sawdust and debris to an unknown location. This cave was significant even through the Civil War, serving as a haven for both Confederate and Union troops at different times. The limestone walls of the cave are etched with the names, ranks, and units of nearly 40,000 Union soldiers who camped here. And while we're talking about markings on cave walls, this next cave has markings of a less welcoming nature. Number 16. Cresswell Crags. Cresswell Crags is a magnesian limestone gorge spanning the boundary between Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire. But what's inside has huge implications for our prehistoric heritage. With an abundance of caves, fissures, and rock shelters, it's a genuine time capsule of secrets from the past. Archaeologists have delved into these caves since the 19th century, unearthing relics that had been concealed beneath the cave floors. Such was the magnitude of early excavations. They excavated so much that now modern archaeologists sift through them to uncover overlooked artifacts. Yet the caves also harbour an air of mystery, evident in the form of hundreds of protective marks known as witch marks, discovered in 2019. These marks are in a remote chamber of a cave within the limestone gorge on the Nottinghamshire Derbyshire border. They are over 60,000 years old. These marks were dubbed apotropaic marks, derived from a Greek term that means to turn away. These engravings grace cave walls and ceilings, often near dark recesses and expansive crevices. This cache of apotropaic marks at Cresswell Crags is touted as the largest in the UK, though the most concentrated cluster resides in a chamber that remains inaccessible to visitors due to safety concerns. Although witch marks can be spotted across various domains, especially within buildings and natural caverns, Cresswell Crags stands as a unique repository for these protective symbols offering a glimpse into our historical efforts to ward off unseen forces. But now let's take a look at a more welcoming and open cave. Number 15. Jenilin Caves Jenilin Cave stands as a pinnacle of Australia's natural wonders, boasting one of the world's most magnificent and ancient cave systems. This limestone labyrinth resides in Jenilin, Oberon Council, New South Wales, approximately 109 miles west of Sydney. The caves span a sprawling 7,620 acres of pristine reserve, these caverns hold a significant place among Australia's limestone cave groups and are hailed as the world's oldest open caves, filled with striking calcite formations, some radiating pure white beauty. They are also home to a treasure trove of Silurian marine fossils. The intricate cave network follows the path of the underground Jenilin River, stretching across more than 25 miles with over 300 entrances. The allure of these caves is further enriched by the fact that they remain an ongoing exploration venture. Recognising its environmental significance, the caves and the encompassing conservation reserve are UNESCO World Heritage listed sites in the Greater Blue Mountains area. The name Jenilin is believed to originate from the indigenous Tharal term Jenilin, signifying a high place shaped like a foot. Another improbable theory links it to the initials G. Nolan, which was discovered smoked. Onto the cave ceiling. However, people are sceptical of this interpretation. But this next cave's name has an interpretation that's so obvious you won't need to dive into complicated stories. Number 14. Reed Flute Cave, China. Within Gillan City lies Reed Flute Cave. This cave is a natural masterpiece of wonders. Anyone walking into this cave will be greeted by radiant and dew kissed stalagmites that create a dreamlike ambience. The cave comes alive with rainbow hued lights that illuminate the vast array of colossal natural formations, making it look like an underground fantasy realm. A tranquil underground river flows through the cave, reflecting the delicate beauty above and magnifying the natural beauty of this place. The inside of the cave features unique formations that are said to resemble creatures from myth or man have made structures like the Statue of Liberty. Outside the cave, a vista of flourishing reeds awaits. It's these very reeds that lend the cave its name. Within the cave's interior, nature is mixed in with human expression. 77 ink inscriptions of poems and travelogues etch the cave walls, showing this place's popularity in ancient times. Some of these inscriptions date as far back as the Tang Dynasty, roughly 792 AD, yet Reed Flute Cave's history includes a period of obscurity where it was abandoned for centuries. It regained attention in the 1940s when a group of refugees stumbled upon it, escaping Japanese troops. Fully open to the public in 1962, it rapidly transformed into a global tourist magnet. Dignitaries like China's chairman, American presidents, and a former United Nations Secretary General have all visited this place. While natural formations are undoubtedly impressive, let's look at what happens when some talented sculptors and miners come together in this next cave. Number 13. 
The Wielix Salt Mine The Wielix Salt Mine in southern Poland isn't just any old salt mine. This extraordinary underground labyrinth, carved entirely out of salt, has a rich history spanning over 700 years, starting with its origins as a salt extraction site in the 13th century. The Wielixka salt mine is over 178 miles long and was established in the town of Wielixka, renowned for its distinctive historical value, its underground corridors and tunnels. Traverse nine levels, each adorned with countless chambers, chapels, and statues sculpted from rock salt. Some of these underground spaces are huge, with the lowest reaching a depth of 173 feet below the surface. Among the mine's remarkable highlights is the chapel of St. Kinga, named after the patron saint of miners. This ethereal sanctuary is adorned with awe-inspiring. Chandeliers and intricate sculptures, all meticulously carved from salt. The Wielixka salt mine has been recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and stands as a testament to the ingenuity and artistic prowess of generations of miners. The mine's museum exhibits and its subterranean lakes provide an immersive experience into the rich cultural heritage of salt mining in Poland. Wielixka salt mine is one of Poland's most iconic and visited tourist attractions, drawing millions of visitors from around the world to explore its depths and admire its artistic marvels. But let's look at some more naturally occurring beauty in the next cave. Number 12. The Cave of Crystals. The Naka Mines Cave of Crystals in Chihuahua, Mexico, houses some of the largest natural crystals ever discovered. These colossal selenite crystals, measuring up to 39 feet in length and weighing around 55 tons, were formed over hundreds of thousands of years under intense heat and humidity. The cave was accidentally discovered in 2000 by miners drilling a new tunnel. The high temperatures and humidity, reaching up to 136 degrees Fahrenheit and 100% humidity, create extreme conditions within the cave, making exploration a dangerous and physically demanding endeavor. The combination of extreme heat and the need for specialized equipment limits access to only the most experienced scientists and researchers. The Cave of Crystal's extraordinary formations are the result of a unique combination of geological factors, including the mineral-rich waters and the specific temperature conditions present in the Naka Mine. These conditions allowed the crystals to grow to their immense size, creating a stunning underground landscape. The cave's scientific importance lies in its potential to provide insights into crystal formation and the geological history of the region. Despite the challenging conditions, ongoing research aims to unlock the secrets held within these giant crystals, contributing to our understanding of the Earth's natural processes. The Naka Mines Cave of Crystal stands as a testament to the awe-inspiring power of nature and the beauty that can be found in the hidden depths of our planet. But if you thought this cave was hot, Take a look at the hottest cave in the world. Number 11. The Lechigilla Cave. The Lechigilla Cave in Carlsbad Caverns National Park, New Mexico, is one of the longest and most renowned cave systems in the world, known for its extensive network of tunnels and extraordinary geological formations. Spanning over 150 miles, it ranks as the seventh longest cave globally. Its distinctive name originates from the agave Lechigilla plant, which grows in the area. What sets Lechigilla Cave apart is its unique combination of rare and delicate formations, including gypsum chandeliers, soda straws, and stunning helictites, making it a geological treasure trove. Discovered in 1986, Lechigilla Cave's exploration revealed its remarkable length and depth, with passages extending over 1,600 feet below the surface. The cave's discovery and subsequent exploration significantly expanded our knowledge of cave systems and their formation. It was the site of a major scientific breakthrough in the 1990s when researchers discovered ancient bacteria that had developed resistance to modern antibiotics, shedding light on microbial evolution and antibiotic resistance. Lechigilla Cave's unique environment, characterized by its extreme conditions and pristine formations, makes it a valuable site for scientific research. The cave's remote and protected location ensures the preservation of its delicate formations, allowing scientists to study its geology and microbiology in an undisturbed setting. Lechigilla Caves Stunning beauty and scientific importance have made it a subject of fascination for both researchers and adventurers alike. With that being said, this next cave system is even more of a wonder for both researchers and adventurers alike. Number 10. The Mammoth Cave System The Mammoth Cave System, located in central Kentucky, is the world's longest known cave system with over 400 miles of surveyed passageways, designated as an UNESCO World Heritage Site. 
This vast subterranean network is a geological marvel and a treasure trove of biodiversity. Its origins date back millions of years, with limestone and sandstone layers forming the complex maze of tunnels, chambers, and underground rivers. Mammoth Cave's extensive and diverse ecosystem includes unique and rare species, some of which are found nowhere else on Earth. The cave system's significance extends beyond its geological and biological features. Archaeological evidence indicates that Native Americans explored the cave thousands of years ago, leaving behind artifacts and remains that provide insights into their culture and practices. European settlers later discovered the cave in the late 18th century, and it quickly became a popular tourist destination. The cave's unique features include vast chambers, intricate formations, and the river Styx, an underground river that adds to its mystique. The exploration and mapping of Mammoth Cave have been ongoing for centuries, with new passages and discoveries still being made. It has attracted spelunkers and scientists alike, drawn by the cave's vastness and the potential for new finds. But this next cave is like a glimpse into a different world. Number 9. Vatniukuta Glacier Caves 